Okay, so here's the deal. I was going to go see Sinister 2 this weekend, but then I wanted to see Sinister 1 because I haven't seen it before. So I was going to watch that on Amazon Prime, and then I just never got around to seeing that. So then I didn't go see Sinister 2, which I heard wasn't that good anyway, so I don't feel like I lost a lot. And plus I felt like playing Final Fantasy uh, 13 2 and Platinum and that, which I did say, which is fantastic for Final Fantasy game for Platinum. And then I also didn't go see you know, Escape, which I'm going to review right now for you guys, because I was going to keep playing until dawn, and I was really tired because I just started going to the gym. And so that's my life right now it is all over the place in regards to priorities and whatnot. Wasn't that a fun intro? Hello once again, my good people, lovers of movies. My name is Nick Pell, and this is once again coming from my apartment. Now today I'm going to put yeah. Now today I'm going to be talking about the film No Escape. This is a film which stars Owen Wilson, Lake Bell, and Pierce Brosnan. And it is about this family who the dad is assigned to this random Asian country. I don't think they ever specify where it is, or if they do, it's like one time and I totally missed it. But some random Asian country, something really bad happens to one of its leaders, and so all the native people are trying to take down all the foreigners for some reason. And so it's uh, Owen Wilson and his family is trying to escape this country. And that's the majority of the film. I really did enjoy Owen Wilson's performance in this film. I've mainly seen him in comedies, and that's kind of where he's best known for is his comedies, his comedic roles. And this is the first serious drama type of film that I've seen him in, and he did really, really well in it. We see kind of this character arc for him where he goes from this normal, average American living in another country to basically seeing what you have to do to survive and what that ultimately takes out of you. And then there's a lot of violence in this film. There are people getting shot. There's a lot of blood and people, just people dying and getting beaten to death and whatnot in this film. And it all looks very realistic to me. It didn't really look a lot green screened, it didn't look special effecty. Uh, it all looked very much like you would think a situation like this would appear to look. And you just see, there's a, there's a point where you see one side of the street is just these armed uh, civilians and then the other side of the street is this armed police force and they're about to clash and Owen Wilson's just in the dead center and it's just a really cool scene. They do use a little bit of slow-mo to an effect at some points and then it's also kind of not necessary at others so there is that element to some of the action scenes but this film is very much more of a drama than an action piece which is something which kind of surprised me. I was expecting based on trailers this to be just a lot of running and trying to escape various situations which it is but it focuses more on this family element and everyone trying to stick together and survive than just Owen Wilson suddenly becoming a badass and just shooting up the place. Um, so that was something which was kind of surprising for me and something that I did ultimately enjoy about the film. Pierce Brosnan though, he is very underused in this movie. He's in it for maybe 20-30 minutes at the most and so that was kind of disappointing because he steals every scene that he's in. He's fantastic in this film. He's kind of this light-hearted goofball but he can also survive like hell because he's got some sort of cool background and so you get to kind of see that element of it. But again, very underutilized as a character in some manner and I would have liked to see a little bit more of him throughout the film. There are some very dark-esque scenes throughout this film, just kind of two main parts towards the end, which I can really mainly think of, and it, it had me kind of, like, anxious. It's like, I don't know what is going to happen in this film, because it kind of dies into the unrealisticness at some point, just how much stuff this family can survive and just get through all these situations unscathed. You think that at some point in this film, it's going to not work out so well for them. Someone's going to get shot or someone's just going to get found and just beaten. And there's a scene in this film where it does come very, very close to that, just having just everything just kind of collapsing in and on itself. So I did enjoy those more dark scenes just because it set itself apart from the kind of the rest of the film. But like I said, it does kind of stray into unrealistic territory just in regards to how much stuff this family does ultimately survive when you see other people just getting shot and massacred and it's like, why are they not so lucky? And so there's, there's kind of just that element to it. Just after about an hour into the film where nothing bad ultimately happens to these people, it just, it, you do start to kind of notice it and it kind of gives them like a godlike presence where it's like, oh, nothing bad can happen to us. So there was kind of that issue for me. The trailer though, which I have seen maybe five times at the most, 
it didn't actually spoil a big scene for me. There's a scene in the trailer, I guess, spoiler alert, if you care, um, where you see Owen Wilson throwing one of his daughters across the roof, and you don't know what's going to happen with that. But I expected, oh, that scene's going to be probably towards the end of the film in like a last ditch effort to save people. It's about half an hour into the, film, into the movie, which I really, really liked because that meant that the rest of the film went generally spoiler free for me because I didn't know what else was going to happen. That was kind of the main scene that was just shown in all the ads and everything like that. And it's only in the first half of the film, which I, I enjoy it when trailers do this. This is how you make a trailer. Like, you don't spoil everything awesome that's going to happen in the movie. Ultimately though this film did seem a little bit long. There were a few points where I did check my watch um, just to see how long this film was kind of going on to. It does just kind of tend to drag a little bit at uh, certain parts here or there. There are a few points where it could have ended and then it just kept going. But for the most part the film is very well done. Pacing is really nicely done and everything like that. And I did enjoy No Escape despite it having a very different tone than what I was expecting going into it. But those are my thoughts on No Escape. Definitely check it out if you're interested at all in the performance of Owen Wilson. He's kind of a standout part of the film, in my opinion. But have you seen the film? Did you like it as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Once again, if you such so, appreciate it immensely. And as always, my people, my name is Nick Paul. And once again, keep on watching.